It's already okay. going. It's going right now. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna edit it though? Are you gonna? Yes. This podcast is a heavily edited podcast. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay, so it's not gonna be like a chunk where it's like it starts here and it ends here. It's gonna no, be like it's not, this part was not slightly that professional. Okay. No, no, this is just gonna be a like a oh, big we... mishmash of words, and I don't even have, I don't have a topic. I believe in your editing ability, but isn't that going to be weird when we talk about something and there's a hard cut and it's like a whole other topic? Like it's going to cut into other... Because uh, yeah, there's yeah. not going to be transitions. You have a point there. <laughs> <laughs> so with Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, I think, I think Pokemon's what we're going to oh, talk about. Oh, uh, before we okay. get started too much, uh, this is Maxwell speaking right and now. This is Matt. Uh, you also have a different name. You really want... I go by the Wicked Ferret. The Wicked Ferret, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. One and only. I hope I hope the neighbors can hear us. I really do. <laughs> Although I don't know if it's any better than the internet can hear me. So. Oh, don't worry. Uh, the, <laughs> the six people that listen to this <laughs> will really appreciate it, that. It's still like a thing where like, I told my friend, he's a sports guy, and I told him that I, I, I was a part of a YouTube video, and he just he was a little confused by it. So. <laughs> He was playing Call of Duty the other day, the yeah. only game he plays. Yeah, and he, some guy got matched with him, and he was just talking to himself. Mm-hmm. The guy was streaming, obviously. Oh yeah. And so he was talking to his his audience, and so my friend, he actually was so intrigued by it, he just started following the other guy into like random games just to hear him talk to himself. Mm-hmm. And then the guy left and was just sitting in his own lobby talking to himself for a while, and my friend joined in and just just listened to him. Thought it was the weirdest thing. He doesn't understand Twitch and all that, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And trying to play a game and maintain a Twitch stream at the same time is actually like really difficult. Um, I listened to this one uh, Twitch streamer. I know we've we were going to talk about Pokemon, so don't Eventually. let me forget. Yeah. Um, but I was I was just it was so interesting to me. It was just this one uh, girl. She's crocheting, you know? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's just like. <laughs> Like, it was the front page of Twitch. It's like, this isn't video gaming. But it worked really well because she was able to, like, read the chat and actively... You don't have, like, to, you don't have to look. It's very... A, a secondary thing. A subconscious yeah. thing is is uh, is knitting, cro- knitting. Knitting and crocheting, yeah. Yeah. I'm not... A, I, get, I get distracted at movies. Like, it's hard for me to just focus on the movie and I often get bored. Even though there's a lot of very good movies out there. Mm. So someone suggested to me that I take up crocheting, and then I could be doing that while in the oh, movie. Yeah. And actually, I think that might help, because it would just be something else. You could also do Pokemon. Not not in the movie. <laughs> good, good transition. <laughs> but not in the movie theater, generally. I think I had heard of a movie theater that they wanted to let you use any electronics you wanted uh-huh. to get the millennial crowd. Because people could be on their phones oh, yeah. bothering other people, because that's what... You know, oh yeah, teenagers and people do nowadays. Like have a diff- a separate theater for uh, you'd have a showtime and you like would just have a screen like, room. Yeah, you'd have an asterisk and be like, people are allowed to use their phones during this service or this this movie. Yeah, yeah. I think it got abandoned because a lot of people were unhappy with it. Live tweet the movie. Oh, <laughs> I think a lot of people would really like that. Is live tweeting during movies? Yeah, I'm, I've never understood live tweeting. Hmm. That's why I was trying to make a joke. Oh, but you it thought wasn't. it was? I didn't think. I thought it was. I thought it was a good idea. I oh, I personally understand live tweeting because like, well, it's just like it's just stating what you're doing. Yeah, but as like, you're doing it, it's it's more prevalent in like sports. Like in sports, there's oh. live tweeting during the game. Oh, that makes. Oh yeah, there and we you, go. You'd be live tweeting well, the movie. You'd that's be like, why I don't get it. There yeah. we go. It's part it's part sports. And during yeah. the movie, you could just be like, "Oh man, I can't believe Captain America did this," and all the people that had seen the movie would be like, "Oh, he's talking about that part." Yeah. So it'd almost be like a spoiler cast where you could actively be talking about the movie while experiencing the movie. But what if that tweet gets like really popular? Yeah, that's. And then you're spoiling it for people that are like, you oh, know. Yeah. No, I. I get that, but a lot of people would just be like. Then you'd have to have Twitter like get like a like a implement a system that like you know is like a spoiler thing. Like click here for spoilers of fill in the blank. I don't think it'd be that because people post spoilers all the time of like The Walking oh, yeah. Dead. Han Solo dies. Yeah. Well, The Walking spoilers. Dead. Apparently, people post like images and things from the show while it's going on. Oh yeah. All the time. Oh yeah, I've had Walking Dead yeah. spoiled for me. 
Um, Me too. Although I say that, I stopped watching. <laughs> Me too. So man. it's kind of like spoiled. Spo- it's yeah, it's spoiled. But at the same time, I'm I'd have to be out of a lot of things to watch in order to move up to like The Walking Dead. Allison and I were watching, Allison, my girlfriend, and I were watching, uh, not The Walking Dead, Breaking Bad, and it was two years after the whole show had wrapped up, and wow. someone spoiled it to us that something happens. It, they spoiled the end of the show. Oh, that sucks. And we just stopped watching at that point, and it, and it technically was a spoiler, but is it our fault for taking so long to watch it? Sure, but should he, he on it's social media... a dick move. It's hard to say. I mean, because then that guy ever can never talk about Breaking Bad. Although oh, he said, he said literally, this is what happened. This happens to this character, and it's just like, okay, thanks. So, uh, spoiler culture has changed so much because, I mean, obviously we can spoil things instantly, just like that. Yeah. Well, what were you gonna say about Pokemon before uh, I, was I got just... distracted with? I was just. I hadn't played Memes. Pokemon since Red. That was the last Pokemon I've actually played. Jeez. I, no, I played Yellow. I played Red Holy and Yellow was the one I played. Crap. I went through and played Red again uh, yeah. a couple years ago. On 3DS, you can actually get uh, buy Yellow online right now. Yeah, I know. It's like 10 bucks. Well, I don't cause, know. Because they talked about it on uh, Rooster Teeth and Achievement Hunter, how they went through and bought the games because it was... It wasn't remastered at all. It was just like, hey, you can buy the old games for like 10 bucks. Mm-hmm. And everyone did it because it was like, oh, cool. It's nostalgia. Yeah. And it's Pokemon. I played Pokemon. That's when I went through and played Reddit again. It was during one of the classes that was just so boring, but we were allowed to have computers. So I started uh, playing through Red on... Uh... Was it an emulator? Yeah, it was an emulator online. Uh, and it, yeah, so gotcha. it, was, it was really easy to do, and I just... I made it really far, and I didn't quite finish. Did you have it sped up? Because that's oh, I the should've. thing about... Yeah. See, <laughs> that makes me sad. There was a guy... Yeah, that's what I was playing. When um, we were playing with emulators over in Asia, when, uh, yeah, go figure, went to a foreign country and then played Pokemon. But um, <laughs> <laughs> the guy... Um, one of the That's how I know about the whole yellow thing on the 3DS right mm-hmm. now, is because he actually bought it. And um, was playing Ye- Pokemon Yellow, and he was complaining the entire time of how slow it was, and how like you have a limited amount of things that you can put in your backpack. Yeah, and that's what I think it's like what hexadecimal or something. Yeah, I think There's it goes re- to sixty-four. Yeah, or, or is it thirty-two? I thought it was two hundred something. Oh, wait, so then maybe two hundred sixty-three. Well, I think I'm going to be talking about different things because I think there's something. Well, regardless... There's different hexadecimal... Everything was just so slow. Yeah. And that's that's what... It took me, like, no time at all to cut, catch up with, um... I mean, I was playing Fire Red and he was playing Yellow, but it was the same region. Which not all memes are good. <laughs> Have you seen the latest one with, uh... It's like Dat Boy, yeah. the frog on I think that's actually, cycle? <laughs> I think that's already pretty old. What is old. that from? I have no idea. I, no oh, I'd have to look up. I think someone probably posted up. a stupid picture of a frog, and then people were like, oh, whatever, and then just kept going. <laughs>